own bright sports story. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now they are. They seem to be. <laughs> yeah, local sports story. Yeah, sure. so. All right, but that ice that we see on that rink, uh -huh. it's going to be a real thing for us tomorrow. I mean, it's been four days now. Our temperature has been below freezing. Yeah. So why you don't need an ice rink. All you need is a little pond. Let it <laughs> freeze outside. over, except things are changing right. for us. But getting to that change where we rise above freezing, it is going to be a messy process. Nothing pretty about what's coming up. Coin 6 weather alert continues. A live look right here from our a and a camera. Here are your road conditions in Ridgefield. I-5, you can see everyone moving back and forth just fine. It's those side roads that whether it's been treated or not, we had brilliant sun out there today. And it was from that we also had some melting, even though the temperature was still below freezing. So you're going to see some of those areas that got soft today refreeze for us overnight with a temperature of 26. Wind is out of the east at 25 miles per hour and your dew point sitting at five. Very dry out there. Live outside here, we take you out to the Vancouver waterfront from our Riverview camera, Hotel Indigo camera, snow still on the ground, all the way up to uh, Mount Hood area, government camp, loads of snow up there, and you can still see completely covered cars there with snow. And then again, out to Ridgefield, where we still have lots of snow on the ground. All areas dealing with some effects from the weather from the last few days. Current wind gusts, we are still windy through the gorge. This is an important element because this is going to keep our temperatures well below freezing, anywhere from 30 to 35 miles per hour right now. It makes it feel like our temperature is only 11 degrees out there in Portland. So with those below freezing stats, this is important. By the time we get to early Wednesday morning, we will have gone 110 straight hours with temperatures below freezing. The next storm is going to make it messy before we get a chance to warm up. This is where the moisture comes from, and this is where the warmer temperatures aloft come from, which is why the National Weather Service has issued an ice storm warning, which will be going into effect starting tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. Notice, though, it'll be the south end of the valley where you see the freezing rain first, and then that eventually slides up to Portland. Road impacts for tomorrow morning, it's just the lingering slick spots like what you saw today. By tomorrow, this time, it's all about ice covering the roads, so no area is really safe for you tomorrow evening. Wednesday morning, likely some icy roads linger with some slick spots left over. Ice accumulation, this is also significant. You're going to see it first. Corvallis up through Salem, Woodburn upwards of a tenth of an inch or more. Portland now starting to see some ice accumulation at 430 tomorrow afternoon. We get into the evening hours. That ice accumulation spreads like wildfire going all the way into the gorge, affecting places like Hood River out to the Dells through Wednesday afternoon. Power outage risk, uh, of course, no surprise to anybody. We saw those gusty winds. You add on ice to the mix, and that just is going to make everything impossible as we get to tomorrow. We're looking at power outages likely for you. As we move ahead, we're looking at that winter storm timeline. Eventually, we will rise above freezing, but the exact timing on that is going to be critical, Josh, when we're talking about the Portland metro area in relationship to the gorge. Uh, yeah, it's going to keep us very busy here in the Coin 6 weather department as we try to time all of this out. But you might be thinking, why did we see snow? Why are we now seeing the chance for those freezing rain conditions? Well, it's all due to the warmer air. Keep in mind, warm air, it likes to rise. Cold air likes to stay near the surface. And just a few days ago when Portland saw the snow, it was cold from the ground all the way up to the cloud coverage. But but now we're starting to get that warm air as we move into Tuesday to come up over the cold air. So everything's in the form of rain, but as it moves into that freezing layer, that's where it will start to freeze on many of our surfaces. So as far as the temperatures go, there is a light at the end of the tunnel clawing our way above the freezing mark. By the time we get to Wednesday morning, look at those afternoon forecasted temperatures on the yellow line. Mid 40s, a nice change of pace for us, dipping down back into the 30s, but still likely to remain above freezing for Wednesday and that's going to take us through the rest of this week. So any freezing rain that we see start to accumulate tomorrow will start to melt on Wednesday, but that does not we're in the complete clear for Wednesday for the start of the day. Still likely going to be seeing poor road conditions by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon that will slowly start to melt away, but slick slushy spots a very real possibility. And then by the afternoon hours just seeing the persistent rain and that rain, if anything, and those warmer temperatures will help to clear up any of the 
lingering slushy spots that we see. That's why Coin 6 weather alert is in place for tomorrow into Wednesday morning. As those temperatures continue to climb back up into the mid 40s, that's going to feel balmy for us. Finally, seeing conditions at where they should be for this time of year. But you also notice that the moisture stays overhead. So we kind of go back into that rinse and repeat scenario where we're seeing much of the same every single day and a very typical site for us here in the month of January in Portland. That will be a nice change for us after we get through Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, Josh, Natasha, you talk about adding insult to injury. We have a sunny day where the PGE crews are out trying to restore power. People are cleaning up. Yeah and we're hit with ice tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it's just never ending, but you know, it is very encouraging to look at that seven day because there are normal temperatures in our <laughs> forecast coming up. Finally. Yeah, <laughs> looking Be forward patient. to that. Yeah. All right, keep it here. We'll be right